Larry Bell, Senior Project Manager, Penn Medicine. As a project manager, I manage um, a number of uh, capital projects for the health system and typically managing anywhere between uh, six to eight projects consecutively. We're running at uh, roughly uh, 30 or 40 projects uh, up in the neighborhood of 90 to 100 million dollars a year in uh, total renovation costs. And that's separate from a large uh, 300 million dollar uh, project that's also ongoing. Primarily they are uh, hospital renovation projects and that would be anything from uh, clinical space including uh, operating rooms, MRI suites, other radiology services, other outpatient uh, exam room uh, type facilities uh, and then they would also include other administrative office renovations as well. We've been using eBuilder now for a few years but we started off very slow really using it uh, primarily as a document repository uh, and then just this year, we're now committed to using uh, eBuilder for um, tracking all our costs on all our projects. So we've made that commitment uh, this fiscal year going forward. So we're tracking um, all our budgets. We're, uh, once our budgets are established, we're entering them into eBuilder and then tracking all of our commitments um, and, and actual costs as well. And then also tracking uh, any projected or potential commitments so that we can develop uh, cost forecasts and uh, also develop cash flows. I think uh, some that come to mind are the ease of access of the information. All the information is uh, in one location. It's easily accessible. It's, there's the consistency. It's all structured the same way regardless of the project manager. And we have several different hospitals within the health system. Uh, so it's, it's creating that consistency across the different hospitals. Um, the other benefits, of course, is that it's really just facilitating the, the cost tracking throughout the life cycle of the project, starting again from the budget, uh, tracking each commitment against each budget line item, and then, of course, the uh, actuals uh, that come in. Uh, and then we also really find beneficial the, the forecasting. Um, it facilitates what we were previously doing on spreadsheets, and then the same goes with the uh, with the cash flows. It's a nice uh, interface that's set up with the cash flows and I think one of the real benefits is that it enables a project manager to uh, be freed up from some of the uh, details and concern over um, all the costs that you're tracking and allows you to really be more thoughtful about the cash flow for cash flows and forecasting because eBuilder is essentially doing the work of uh, perhaps several different spreadsheets that you're trying to uh, you know marry together. Additional benefit is that it enables uh, us to uh, generate reports that are uh, across the entire health system, uh, cost reporting segregated by ho different hospital entity, so it rolls up into a good, a um, you know, very effective executive report as well. Overall, it's been very positive. I mean, starting from the implementation process, and um, I think probably the biggest thing that comes to mind, of course, is just that opportunity. You know, when I call that 888 number, I'm going to get a live person, um, and generally they know the answer, and if they don't, they, they track the answer down, and I'll wind up uh, speaking with somebody else from eBuilder who can help us out. Well, I think one of the things was, quite frankly, that worked for us was that we um, were required to develop some new cost reports and we were then asked to make the decision all right are we going to do this in Excel or are we going to use eBuilder and we collectively made the decision to use eBuilder which I'm sure everybody is very glad now that we've done it um, I think it really is a, a better way to go it's better cost control less time facilitated processes that we talked about um, and once you once it's mandated then you, you know, you're forced to uh, get on board.